everyone welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to talk about how to fix relic key on hp laptop not working so without any further ado let's dig into the video fix one run for the troubleshooter for that you have to click on the start menu then setting your setting page will open here at the left side you can see system you have to click that then you have to scroll down scroll down and you can see a troubleshooter here you have to click that and open it then you have to click on other troubleshooter then here here you have to search for keyboard search it if it is not found just leave it uh, i will show you another tricks then close that page then you have to click on the start menu then here you have to type keyboard troubleshooter keyboard troubleshoot then then this page this will open you have to click that and open it this will open here you have to click the next then it will de uh, detect and uh, fix your problem fix to update the drivers for that click on the start menu right click on the start menu then you have to open the device manager page then here you can see a keyboard option you have to expand it and click on the keyboard standard ps2 keyboard you have to click it you can do a right click and you can see a update option in my case i am not having that option so i am clicking on properties then in a properties you can see a change settings you have to click that then this page will open here you have to click on the driver then update driver then you have to click on search automatic for updates then your drivers are updated updated fix 3 is reinstall the drivers for that you have to right click on the start menu then you have to open the de device manager then this page will open here you can see a keyboard option you can ex you have to expand it then you have to click on the standard uh, ps2 keyboard you have to right click it and you can uninstall it uh, so i am not having that so i am clicking on properties then you have to click on the change settings then this page will open here you have to click on the driver then you have to click on the uninstall then you have to click on the uninstall then after uninstalling you have to restart your computer which helps you to reinstall the driver which you delete it will help you to fix the problem thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe to our channel